What do I do this? What am I? All right, before this gets too cheesy, let me talk about why I'm hitchhiking on this episode of Making It Grain. And I'm only hitchhiking with one item. And it's the only item I need, at least for tonight. I am hitchhiking because today, thanks to Matt Zook, I've got Good People Brewing Company's Hitchhikers American IPA. Hitchhiker, I am sorry. Uh, it is the American IPA, like I just said, 7.8% alcohol. It is more of like a, their West Coast, it's more of a West Coast style, so I'm expecting super hoppy. It's 128 IBU. What? That is super hoppy. They use Simcoe, Columbus, and Cascade hops in this, so it's gonna be super floral, super dank, super cit uh, well, yeah, super citrusy, kind of tropical, but really bitter and really fresh. So this one coming out of Alabama, it is their seasonal, and I am looking forward to getting my lips out on this. So Brimington, Birmingham, Alabama. Pour it into this nice Tiku glass. Woo, coming out fresh, orange. Just like, ooh, looking good in this glace. I can smell some pineapple. Ooh, malty caramel-ness. Mm, citrusy, super juicy, super hoppy. Loads of hops just coming through. Lots of orange, like I just said, citrusy, orangey. Cannot wait to try the Hitchhiker IPA, baby. Come on, what? Get out of here. Mmm, this is gonna be fresh to death. All right, let's dig in. Let's sip it. Let me taste it on my tongue. Mmm, the bitterness, so the hops aren't super strong at, up front, but they linger quite a bit. For 128 IBU though, I'm not getting that hoppy punch, which is good, because I don't like that anyways, but I am getting some fresh Juicy fruits, really smooth, pretty malty on the back end, followed by that bitterness. Yeah, loads of pineapples, citrus orange rind. And I love the can, this is just cool. See, I, I didn't have a floppy stick in my, in my yard. Um, but yeah, he's got the thumb out, looking like a professional hitchhiker, probably trying to get to Alabama to get some of this IPA. Really good dark, dark peach orange color. Carbonation's medium, fluffy. As you could see, the head was there. It was uh, a little bit off-colored, yellow to white. Nice looking. Super fresh though. A lot of herbal tones, floral notes, but really juicy. The hop is starting to kick a little bit more now that it's resting on my tongue and my palate. I love the Simcoe hops and the Columbus to give it that, that hoppy nose and that floral hoppy taste. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a really fresh to death nose. Really a fantastic beer. I'm not big on the lingering bitterness, but everyone else is, and if you are, this is perfect then. Strong amounts of grapefruit. I would say grapefruit is the, um, the biggest fruit flavor that I'm getting. It almost tastes like they juiced a grapefruit rind. Put a few drops of that in this glass, in the can. Thanks again, Matt. Cheers to you guys. I'm Patrick, and I'm making it grain. Great beer. Peace.